says the joke that he's on his way and forgot to save the day. Greetings everyone, this is TransGoJobot with Graphics Motion. I wanted to quickly do this quick little video just to show a little 3D printed adapter that I created for Wild Rider here to fit on the DX9 Menasaur leg. Uh, this, as anyone that owns this uh, figure knows that it, the connection here is very poor, uh, that you just have to use this little flap here. And uh, basically, you know, this little slot here, and then you're use this white tabbed thing here and you have to somehow just stick that in with no real way of connecting it and then one little peg at the top and that's that's it right and everyone knows that this does not fit on very well so what I did is I created a adapter that doesn't even require this piece here so this can just be left down like that and I'll quickly show show you how it works and so basically we'll do is just go ahead and get this part out of the way. I usually just tuck it around like that and then just open up the doors. And there's basically, here's the adapter piece and it's uh, there's four connector points, only fits on one way. And there are these, these two tabbed areas here that will slide right underneath these two white areas. And then there's a couple little tabs on the side and we'll peg right into the doors. The doors are actually already had these little uh, slots right here on the side. They were already there, and I decided just to go ahead and take advantage of, of those. So essentially, you just place that under, line up the front, push down the back, and just go ahead and peg one door on, and peg the other door on, and now that connector is on super, super, super tight. And so then it's quite easy to install onto the Menasaur leg. So what you do is you just kind of line this up in the channel, this channel here, and then this one pops into the other channel. So you just basically just line it up. What I like to do, just so you know, is I like to hook the two wheels around just to make sure that they're lined up. So I'll kind of line up the wheels first, hook them in where they're supposed to be, and then all you gotta do is just give this guy a little bit of a squeeze. Sometimes it helps if you just push on this just to help give it just a little bit of clearance it needs just to get around this side here. And it fits right on. You can still do the top peg too, but it sometimes comes undone because that top peg is, is bad. But You can see while <laughs> is on to stay. And removal is pretty simple. Just start from the same side and just pops right off. So again, hook the wheels, just kind of push on the, the, the tab part. It pops right in and away we go. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you basically how it worked. And uh, um, you can always just, just as easily remove it it doesn't do any damage that I could find with the uh, the figure itself so you just reach in here loosen up the, the doors oh, so this part pops right back out and you're good to go that's all I wanted to show and I'll make a better video of this later a little more high quality production better lighting etc but for now I just wanted to show you guys what this is all about and subscribe to this channel or risk extermination.